back. Well, it is a beautiful sunny morning, a little bit cool, but it's a perfect day to go to Costco. So we are going to go in Costco. I'm going to take you with me and then we're going to come back home and I'm going to show you my favorite items from Costco. someone decided they wanted my parking space so I did move and that's fine I had just gone in Costco to buy a few items but you know you can't go in Costco and buy one item or I can't I have seen people go in and maybe buy a roasted chicken and I, I think I don't know if I have the willpower to just buy that one chicken and get out because I like to stroll up and down the aisles but you have to love a store where you can buy a year's supply of vitamins and then walk over and buy a mattress or a bottle of Dom Perignon. And I'm just floored by that. So I always have to go up and down the aisles because you never know what you're going to find. And I've, one thing I've never done at Costco is I've never bought one of those $1.50 hot dog Coke combinations. But I've been tempted, but the lines are always so long. I did, and I've never bought a pizza there. I just, I mean, but it looks good. It smells good. I just, um, I did Google to find out how many hot dogs they sell at Costco, and they sell about 135 million hot dogs a year at Costco. The ones in the deli part, the ones that they're cooking when you check out and are tempted to buy, 135 million. I was amazed. But, I've never tried one, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make it a point next time I'm in to get a hot dog. But let's go to the house, and I'll unload all of these things, and we'll talk about Costco a little bit more. Okay, we are back from Costco, and I have unpacked the car and put things away. And to me, that's one of the most difficult parts about shopping at Costco. I don't mind going to Costco and wandering around. It's the loading and unloading of the car. But that's done and everything's put away. And so I'm going to share a few items that I buy frequently at Costco. And one item that I buy almost every time I go in is water. And I buy the Kirkland's Purified Water. I run through several cases of these at a, t a month at, at least and you can buy 40 to a case and I just keep them in the refrigerator so they come in really handy. The next item I use constantly is the China dinner plates. They're very sturdy. They're not flimsy at all. And you can buy the smaller plate at Costco, but I just go ahead and get the dinner plate. And there's 165 per package of these. They come in a big plastic package. And I have taken that, taken these out, and I have them stacked with some other paper products that I have. And they are so handy to have for the microwave or to have lunch by the pool. And it just saves on a lot of dishwashing. So those are a frequent purchase. Now, I'm sure, excuse me, I'm sure if you are a Costco shopper, you buy probably a lot of the same items I do. And one of those items is probably these bounty paper towels. So I buy cases of these, and it's amazing 
how many cases you can run through. And luckily, we have a closet that we put all of our paper products in. Because, you know, you bring in a case of paper towels, a case of toilet paper, a case of Kleenex, and you, you can really use up some space. So we have found a way to tuck them away, and then uh, when we need them, they're there, and they're kind of hidden away. And this is the longer select a size paper towels and I always buy the white or blanc and use these it's amazing how many rolls of paper towels you can use but we tend to do that and this is an item I'm not sure you've ever tried but if you haven't and you love artichokes then I, I really suggest you buy this at least once and try it they come two to a package Two jars, and each jar is 33 ounces. It's the Kirkland's Artichoke Hearts. They're quarters and halves, and they're marinated in oil. And the oil has garlic and herbs in it. And I use the, the oil to cook with because it's already marinated. It has all those wonderful flavors. So why not use it? And I have a wonderful recipe that I'll share with you sometime. It has chicken artichoke hearts, mushrooms, capers, garlic. It is fabulous. And so I'll make that and show you how I use these artichoke hearts in that recipe. And I use it also in, I'll use the artichokes in a charcuterie platter. And I just drain the oil off of it and put them out. And everyone is really impressed with the flavor of these artichoke hearts. So I highly recommend those. Now I'm going to run into my freezer and get a few more items to show you out of the freezer section of Costco. Now, let me show you these. This I buy in the butcher section of Costco. Usually the butcher's in the back of the store of Costco and this is where they have all the meats lined up in the coolers. You will find these Kirkland brand uh, rack of lamb. It's Frenched. They're already Frenched. That means they've taken off the meat and fat off of the ribs up to a point. This looks like it's maybe an inch and a half in. And when you present these French lamb chops. They are so wonderful. Now this is a rack and what I do is cut them between each rib and I marinate them with olive oil, garlic, and mint. Cook them and if you like them rare, you probably cook them maybe at the most four minutes on each side, but uh, we tend to eat them more medium. So I go a little bit longer and they are $13.99 a pound. And when you present those on the plate for dinner, they look fabulous. And the taste is incredible. You're going to love them. Now, another item that I buy, this item I buy every single time I go to Costco. And that is their cooked, they're already cooked, cooked tail on devein shrimp. And I usually buy the 21 to 25 per pound. You can get them smaller. This is the largest size they have. And they have no preservatives and they are chemical free. And it, like I said, they're deveined and peeled. So you can make the fastest dinner you can imagine. You, I usually put these in a colander and I don't ever use a whole package unless you're gonna have several people for dinner. I just use about a half a package and that's for two people. So two people, I have a package, I put it in a colander, put the shrimp in, run warm water over it while I'm making a salad, and then add the shrimp to the salad, and it's the fastest dinner you're ever gonna make. It's just incredible. And I always keep those on hand because you can also serve them if you have a little get together with neighbors and friends and just, just uh, thaw them out and you are good to go. Now, this was a treat to find this at Costco in the freezer section. When I bought the shrimp in the freezer section, I found the Caribbean Red Snapper. 
they don't always have Caribbean red snapper. So I was really surprised, and it's wild caught. And I'm not sure you are familiar with the way they package their fish products in the freezer section, but I'll open this up and show you. They come packaged in individual fillets. These are frozen. You can see that beautiful red snapper has been scaled. It still has the skin on, but it's been scaled. It's already filleted. It doesn't take any time to thaw it. I actually will take a large bowl, put warm water in it, and just drop these packages down in the warm water for maybe 20 to 30 minutes at the most, and they're thawed. And then you can cook them any way you want. And look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? And those, let's see, I pay um, the shrimp, the package of shrimp was $17.49. And the red snapper, or see, I, I told you about the red snapper. No, I didn't. I told you about the lamb. The red snapper was $22.49. $22.49, and there are, let's see how many fillets there are in here. Each fillet is two to eight ounces, and they're two pounds. Let's see. Let's count these. We have one, two, three, four, five fillets, and they look delicious. As a matter of fact, I may have that for dinner tonight. I hope that you enjoyed our little Costco trip and me explaining what I usually buy at Costco. And I hope that if there's something here that you haven't tried, you'll give it a try. And if you have an item that you buy every time you go to Costco, let me know because I, I would love to try it and let you know what I think about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, Tap that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and follow me on Instagram. Bye.